Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Miss D and for everyone who is brand new, please don't hesitate to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, for everyone who is returning, I am so happy to see you again. Don't forget to give me a great big thumbs up on my content. That will help other people find uh, my stuff on YouTube. And if you really like what you see here today, go ahead and tap that notification bell. That will let you know the next time new content is uploaded onto my channel. And please, by all means, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. So today I wanted to give you an update on um, a supplement that I had been taking for 14 days and it was something that I um, mentioned a couple of um, videos back and uh, had taken the supplement for 14 days straight. Now, I am a person who reacts to a lot of stuff and I'm actually not going to show you the bottle, I'm not going to show you the brand because it's got nothing to do with the brand, it isn't the company that produced it or anything like that. It is simply my body's reaction to what I was taking and putting into my body. Um, and for many people, supplements work, they really do, but for me, for whatever reason, they don't. What I noticed in my um, in my body's reaction is weight gain, and I'm a woman who really pays attention to my hormones, to um, my body. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you call it a circadian rhythm. I think that's just your sleep process and whatever. But the menstrual cycle, let's call it that, because for me that's what it is. Um, my hormone cycles and and whatever I know when my skinny weeks are and I know where, when my not so skinny weeks are so um, I'm right now in my supposed skinny week and I have gained weight yes coronavirus is happening yes I am self-isolating and um, but I work from home and so for me being at home is not really anything different um, I haven't really changed my energy output and whatever. I'm getting good sleep and I'm, I haven't really introduced anything into my diet other than the supplements. So that weight gain, what it has been is me just craving uh, carbohydrates a little bit more and unfortunately I've been giving into that. Um, usually I can metabolize that kind of stuff because of the fact that I go for walks and I make sure that I'm getting good exercise, fresh air, all that kind of jazz. Um, but yeah, for this, uh, for whatever reason, because I was taking the supplements, I was just not metabolizing anything. Another thing that has happened is I've got a lot of pain in my pinky finger and in my um, index finger on my right hand. Um, it is it is the weirdest feeling. My my two fingers have been exceptionally itchy, and they feel really fat at times, like swollen, and they're very sore to touch. It feels like I have been bruised, and I haven't done, like that would be a really weird thing to be able to do, to bruise your index finger and your your baby or your pinky finger. Um, so I, I really, I'm quite sure that I did not bruise them. Um, like I say, I'm very self-aware and aware of what I'm doing, where my hands are and all that kind of jazz. <laughs> Go ahead and make your funny little comments below. But um, yeah, so that is really weird. They feel hot and um, whenever I, I grab onto ice or something cold, it feels amazing. There is relief and uh, whatever. So. I guess what I want to do is just kind of bring that to your attention and help you to maybe pay attention to the reactions that your body has. Um, I am gluten intolerant and I'm allergic to coconut and I know I've, I've gone kind of maybe ad nauseum and I do apologize but maybe you, this is your first time here and you're kind of like oh I didn't hear this before. Um, but I'm very aware of the reactions that my body has to certain things. Vitamin E, for instance, if I put that onto my skin topically, I break out in painful um, blotches. They're, uh, they're itchy and they go super dry. And that is the opposite of what vitamin E is supposed to do for you. Now I can actually take vitamin E into my system through things like avocado. Avocado is um, very dense in vitamin E and I love avocados so 
Um, and I have no problems with my body metabolizing that and ingesting and digesting and all that stuff. So um, for me, it's just, I guess it's because of the lipids that cause the, um, the vitamin E to actually sink down into your skin. Because if you were to place <laughs> vitamin E on top of your skin, it would just actually sit there. So science had to develop something for to draw that into your skin. See, I know a little bit too much about this. I feel like a nerd right now sharing that with you. But I don't know, maybe if this helps you and... Um, I don't want to stop you ever from doing something that is good for you. So if you are a person that can handle supplements, by all means, do it. If, that's, if that is what is good for your body, do what is good for your body because we all want to better ourselves. We all want to love ourselves. And at the end of the day, that's what life is all about, right? Okay, I'm going to stop talking now because I feel like I maybe bored you a little bit, but... I wanted to share that with you, give you that update, and um, yeah, other than that, that's it. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and remember, say it with me, I am enough. I love every single one of you.